Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is going to be my first haul type of video. So I've not done one of these before. Now, unlike uh, a lot of people, I actually prefer B movies and kind of the lesser known fantasy, sci fi, horror movies. And I tend to get them on DVDs because in the UK, a lot of them aren't actually available on Blu ray. So uh, I've got a, a haul of, uh, sort of B movie, lesser known uh, horror films that I've, I've bought and I'll probably be reviewing in the near future. So let's have a look what I've got. So uh, first movie, uh, Vampires vs. Zombies. Now we actually had this one before, but it had an American version. And, and I don't really remember it, to be honest. I remember it being a bit crap and not really making sense. But I thought, I, I saw this, the UK version, so I thought I'd pick it up and uh, give it another go. It wasn't very expensive, so uh, you'll be uh, treated to that review at some point in the near future. So that's a Vampires vs. Zombies. Uh, next up is Arachnid, um, obviously a kind of giant spider movie. I have to say the special effects and these back pictures here look kind of kind of neat. Um, I haven't seen this movie yet, so don't know what it's like. But it looks like it might be kind of fun. I think this will probably be the first one out of these that I'm going to watch. Arachnid. Uh, Day of the Dead 2. I think this is kind of an unofficial sequel to Day of the Dead. And uh, again, I haven't seen this film. Got to be honest, the kind of the screenshots on the back don't make it look particularly special. Uh, but, you know, who knows what it'll be like. Day of the Dead 2. Uh, Nine and a Half Ninjas. So uh, this is an older movie. Now, I have actually seen this one before a long time ago. And once again, I don't actually remember it. So, I, again, I don't remember it being very good, but... Um, obviously the, the, the title refers to the, the nine and a half weeks movie, um, which is kind of one of those sort of erotic adventures. So obviously this is kind of, um, obviously a piss take of that. So, you know, there you go. I don't really remember what that's about though, to be honest. Uh, Shark Hunter. Now I had this on region one and I actually sold it on eBay a little while ago and I just saw it on region two. I didn't even know it was available on region two. So I got it again, and uh, this is basically about a megalodon. Now, uh, very kind of cheap CGI megalodon, but uh, I don't remember it being that bad, but we'll see. I'll, I'll kind of watch it and give it a review at some point. Scarecrow Slayer. There's a whole bunch of these kind of Scarecrow movies, and I've, I've actually um, picked up a couple of them. So this is, I'm not quite sure which order they're going. I'm guessing this isn't the first one, though. Uh, starring Tony Todd, and the Scarecrow makeup looks kind of good. Still don't think it's going to beat the uh, uh, 80s Scarecrows movie, however. Uh, Roger Corman's Space Wars, also known as Space Raiders. And I, I actually had this one on VHS, so I actually do remember this film quite vividly, actually. And, and, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll watch it again to review it. And this one, basically... Is a kind of one of these sort of Star Wars clones, but it really sort of cannibalizes a lot of footage from Battle Beyond the Stars and kind of makes its own movie from that. But uh, it's quite good. That I remember most of the cast, most of the heroes die in this film, which kind of makes it uh, kind of unique in a way. I think you have barely anyone left alive at the end of this movie. Uh, Soul Keeper. Uh, again, this is a movie that I've sort of seen a long time ago. Uh, I think it was on Sky. Um, when it was going when I first saw it, and I actually quite liked it. I remember it having some pretty decent special effects. Um, so again, I struggled to to remember a hell of a lot about it, and I didn't cover those any favors here. To be honest, the cover looks kind of cheap, but uh, I seem to remember it being an okay movie. So and quite funny as well. But um, we'll give that one a check out. And uh, next one we have uh, Deathlands which is kind of a post-apocalyptic movie. Now, the reason I got this one is because it actually stars uh, an actress called Jenny Alano, who is my favourite kind of B-movie actress. So, uh, you know, I haven't I haven't seen this movie actually, you can see this one's still sealed. So, we'll have to check this one out. I have no idea what it's going to be like, and uh, probably crap. They mostly are, but there you go. Um, next movie is uh, Gargoyles. And this is actually probably one of the, the, the oldest films that I actually learned. I don't really, not really interested in films that are kind of that old. But I actually saw this on, on TV like years ago, 1972. 
And I believe this movie was actually a, a, meant to be a pilot for a TV show that wasn't sort of picked up. And although it's very cheap and cheesy, I actually kind of remember it being quite fun. And uh, not really into the, the sort of the older movies so much, but, uh, you know, I actually remember quite enjoying this one when I saw it on TV all those years ago. And then uh, finally, uh, Jack Frost, he's chilling and a killing. Now, again, this is actually one I have seen, but again, it was a while ago. Uh, so I don't really remember. There was actually the sequel there as well, but I only picked, bother picking this one up. So a snowman themed horror film. It's bound to be cheesy fun. I mean, just look at these uh, these special effects here. Looks ridiculous. I love it. Anyway, have you seen any of these movies? Uh, what do you think of them? If you sound off, let me know. Bye for now.